Some customers just don't get it. What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another story for you and it is of something that happened in December 2017. So just over a year ago now. And honestly, I don't know why I didn't share this with you guys sooner. I must have just forgotten about it and remembered it just a few days ago and that's why I decided to do this video. Now, as I've mentioned already on my channel before, I worked retail for five years. That was my last job and that was also my first job. And over those five years, I came across quite a few angry customers, crazy customers, and weird customers. And today, I'm just gonna be focusing on one and basically just one incident with this customer. So I worked automotive parts and a couple days prior to this incident, we had a really bad storm because I live in Canada. We had an ice storm, but a very small one. It was thick ice, basically just enough to cover vehicles, but not really much to do any damage. The ice didn't cause any damage to vehicles, really. But this customer decided to call me before he showed up. Now, when he called me and started to explain his situation, I honestly thought he was joking. I didn't know to take him serious. I didn't know what he was really talking about. But basically what he said to me was, this problem is happening to both his vehicles, his car and his truck. And whenever he tries to put on the wiper blades to clean the windshield, it doesn't clean the windshield at all. So as an employee, I was asking him a bunch of questions, asking him, is there anything wrong with them? Do you see if they're ripped? Do you see anything in the way of the wiper blade? And he was getting a little bit angry with me just while on the phone, just while I'm asking the typical questions for him. So I told him to simply bring the wipers in, bring your receipt, and I'll see what I can do. I'll look at them and I'll see what I can do. He proceeded to tell me that that is not good enough. He wanted me to bring replacement wipers for both his vehicles to him. Now he lived a town away and that is just not our policy. It's usually not a policy anywhere that places are gonna bring the warranty item to you. You usually have to go to them. So after talking to him for a couple minutes, even though he was pissed off, he said he will see me soon and it really didn't take long for him to come into the store. Whenever he came into the store and seen me, he explained to me the problem again and I said, I'm gonna to have to go out and see them. He did have his receipt and he was basically just flashing it saying, no, you're gonna warranty them right now and you're gonna give me the other ones for the other vehicle at the home. And I said, I'm sorry, that's not how our policy works. I didn't let on, but that's not how a policy works anywhere. You don't get anywhere by yelling at the employee to give you free stuff. I proceeded to get my coat and tell him I have to go outside to look at them. So he followed me outside basically. And whenever I got there, I didn't have gloves on. Unfortunately, it wasn't icy that day. It was a little bit snowy out, just low visibility, but nothing that I couldn't handle. So I went out, checked his wipers and I started to laugh just to myself. I didn't laugh so he could see, but I was just thinking, how stupid can you be? Why would you bring this in for a warranty? What had happened was when the ice storm happened a couple days prior to this, ice had built up and formed around his wiper blade. So the blade could not clean the windshield. What was touching the windshield was just ice that was on the wiper blade. So to me, Clearly, that makes sense as to why the wipers were not cleaning the windshield. Of course, ice isn't going to do much, and you're not going to get a perfect clean. So I proceeded to, even though I didn't have gloves on, to take off a lot of this ice for him, which I really shouldn't have, but I wanted to show him that there was nothing wrong with the wipers. So for a good chunk of the wipers, I cleaned the ice off, and I looked at the actual blade, and there's nothing wrong with it. These actually looked brand new. He just bought them about six months ago. Our store has a one year warranty for wipers. So if you bring in the receipt, if there is a problem, here's some new wipers. That's basically what he was trying to do. But I showed him there's nothing wrong with your wipers. They look brand new. All you have to do is basically clean off the ice. And he did not like that, but it's freezing at that point. My fingers were starting to get numb. So I proceeded to go inside. He basically came back to the counter to see me again for the second time. He proceeded to tell me that I'm giving him new wipers and that's just how it's gonna be. And I proceeded to tell him, I'm sorry, I can't warranty ice. There's nothing wrong with your wipers, they're brand new. All you have to do is basically clean them and they'll work the way they're supposed to. And he started to get really snippy with me and angry and yelling and screaming. And he said, what am I supposed to do when I'm driving down the road? Am I supposed to pull over every five minutes to clean off your wipers? And I said, no. Like 
most people, they clean their wipers before they leave their home. And on the day, especially on that day, ice is not going to form on your windshield that quick. Like he was saying, every five minutes pulling over, it's not going to form that quick. It's just a normal day out today, especially. So he just didn't get it. He was demanding to talk to the store manager. Now, our store manager at our location literally gave anything away free for people. If he knew you or if he was friends with you, he would warranty stuff that honestly should never be warrantied. Luckily though, he was on lunch at this time. So I knew this customer is not gonna be getting the warranty for free. He's not getting a warranty period. And the customer just didn't like that. So I proceeded to tell him that the store manager is on lunch right now. And he got really pissed off demanding to see the owner. Now our owner wasn't even a year into the position of owning our store and he did not like giving away warranties, especially for stuff that should not be warrantied. So I proceeded to go and ask him because that is what the customer is demanding. And the owner even looked at me thinking I'm joking. Like, are you serious? And I told him everything. And he said, no, we're not warranting that. That's not something that can be warrantied. He wanted me to go and tell the customer this, which never works out. You should always have a higher authority go and tell the customer this. So I did mention that to the owner and he decided to have a manager from another department come over and to explain it to him. But I went down and told him, no, sorry, he's not gonna warranty it. And then the manager came over to tell him the same exact thing that I just told him. Now, he started to actually yell at the manager. Now, this wasn't my manager. He, I guess he is a manager of mine, but he wasn't my manager for my department basically just told him, we can't warranty that. There's no way we can warranty it. There's just ice on it. Your wipers look brand new. Sorry, but just clean your wipers and they'll be good as new. This manager went outside to look at the wipers to see if what I said was actually the case. And he came back in and said, I wish we could just warranty ice now because that was literally what was on there. So I had me and the manager looked at them and said, it's just ice, that was the problem. I had another employee go out, she wanted to look for herself to see if that was actually the case, and it was. So there's three of us that looked at them and said, they're brand new, there's just some ice on your wipers, we can't warranty that. Which to me, as a customer, if I was the customer, I would have got the hint, I would have said okay and bought new wipers. Actually, if I was the customer, I wouldn't have brought them in and fussed about it anyways, because there's nothing wrong with them, but that's just me. So the customer sticked around until the store manager came back from lunch. Now when he came back from lunch, he was talking to the customer. He went out and looked at them, must have seen the same thing as I seen and that the other manager and the other employees seen, but he proceeded to warranty them. He went and got the guy new wipers. Actually, I think he got him ones that were a step above the ones that he had purchased. He gave him them, he warrantied them for him, they did it up front. So whenever the store manager came back in, came over and talked to me, he kept asking me, was this guy seriously yelling? And I said, yes, the guy was being a complete ass to me on the phone when he called and whenever he came in. And I said, those wipers, there was nothing wrong with them. There was just ice, he just had to clean them. And then he just says, well, I warrantied them anyways. I know the guy, he's a pretty good guy, so I gave him his new wipers. But it doesn't stop there. This is where it gets pretty interesting. The owner came down a little while later and asked me what happened with the wiper guy. Did he leave or was he staying around getting pissed? So I told the owner myself, well, he already warrantied them for the guy. The customer is gone. He already has new wipers. And I said he actually did a step up from those wipers. The owner wanted actual physical proof that this took place. So he went and looked at the warranty records and seen that this actually happened. Not only did our store manager warranty something that was not supposed to be warrantied because there was nothing wrong with them, but he gave him a step up. So he gave him pretty much a premium wiper for free. So in the end, the customer that came in yelling and screaming at me, demanding something for free, something to be warrantied that honestly should not have been because there's nothing wrong with it, didn't only get a free wiper and get it warrantied, but he got a step up. And the manager that warrantied it, the store manager, actually got in shit. And the store manager started to, after that, not like me so much, but honestly, this is our policy. This is the way to do things. Don't do special things for your friends if you're not gonna do it to every customer. In my opinion, every customer is equal. Friends are not over other customers. But this is today's story time. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.